grand total on that page plus the personal funding that we ran is three thousand. Sorry, three hundred seventy-six thousand nine hundred dollars in funding. One hundred fifty-two thousand seven hundred is zero percent business credit for twelve to eighteen months. And then um, in business credit total, we have three hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars. Uh, not showing up on personal, right? Because that's credit that we can use that doesn't affect our personal credit. If you factored in something like the soft pull, uh, Wells Fargo business card and regional banks and stuff like that, I didn't mention the Wells Fargo hack, soft pull hack, because right now their business cards are discontinued. But when that comes back, that's probably going to be a thing again. You can easily get over 350K here in this in this scenario. There's also like too many signup bonuses to mention from all that funding, like for sure. But like just these four cards are going to give you an extra, uh, let's see, this is $2,800 in cash value, just this three card lineup here. Bare minimum, right? I hate talking about points in the in the sense of cash because I like using them on flights and hotels and shit, but letting you, uh, you know, visually look at it, 2,800 bucks right here in value, at least 650 bucks in cash in value on the AA card. But like, you're so close to a $15,000 like J Japanese Airlines or Japan Airlines uh, first class ticket right here. 80,000 points is usually what you need. 80,000 points will get you a $15,000 uh, trip to Japan, like a one way, it crazy seat. So again, that's just showing you the reference. But yeah, uh, we already earned $4,400 in bonuses prior to this. So this is an extra, you know, three or four grand. So it's bare minimum, basically grand total, raking it all together. $7,400 in cash value in sign-up bonuses, like being super low, like rounding super low on all this stuff and leaving cards completely out of the equation. So here real quick, these are my data points because this whole sequence and all of these, these plans were set up from tailoring my situation and my data points. This is the profile that I had. So uh, I had only six primaries, six primary revolving accounts. So six credit cards on my profile and uh, one pledge loan, which I got, I got the pledge loan like one or two months before running my funding, which I thought, is that going to mess me up? Cause I have a brand new account. It ended up actually boosting my score like 30 points when I got the pledge loan. And that was kind of an indicator to me that I was like, okay, having that credit mix is that much more important than that tiny dip of age that I got from that being a new account. And that's just something that sometimes I see that similar situation in other people. So I wanted to just put that on record. But yeah, so this is my exact profile at the time. This is the age of each account at the time. There's that pledge loan hack, which is super new. And then I did have two authorized users that I believe were showing on all three bureaus. They're like four years old for my parents and then 15K limits, low balances, I think less than 10% for sure. And so my average age of my primaries though, not considering that AU, because I don't, I don't think that AUs actually weigh like too much of a, a importance in the business side. It was 1.5 years of average age on my primaries in total. There's that shitty Capital One card that won't increase its limits. Stuck at $3,500, but oh well. And my 